In this video, I'm going to show you how to download historical price and dividend data from Yao Finance using Verizon as an example. To begin with, let's go to Yao Finance homepage, which is finance.yahoo.com. Once you're on their homepage, you see little box on the right hand side where you can type the name of the company or the ticker symbol that you are interested in. So for us, this is Verizon. So let me type the VZ ticker symbol. Once you type that ticker symbol, it's just the name. You can click on that name. It takes us to the page which has all kind of financial information about Verizon and you can click on each of that link and learn as much as you want of the company that you are interested in. Since we want to download historical price, let me click on historical data. Once you click on historical data, it takes you to the page where you can download historical price and the dividend. Before you download, you have to make three selection time period, whether you are downloading prices or dividend and the frequency, whether you are interested in daily frequency, weekly or monthly. So let's choose the time first. What time period are you interested in? So you have to choose the start date and the end date. So let's assume for us the start date is January 1, 2001. So it's going to be 01 slash 01 So that's the starting date and end date for us is, let's assume this is December 31st, 2016. So it's going to be 12 slash 31 slash 2016. Make sure the format is correct. Once you make that selection, click on done. Now we have the time period January 1, 2001 to December 31st, 2016. Now you have to choose whether you are downloading prices or dividend. This time we are downloading prices. So I'm going to leave this as is. And now the frequency, whether you want to download daily, weekly or monthly data. And I want to choose monthly since we will be using monthly data for our historical analysis of the stock. And once you make all that selection, click apply. Once you click apply, now it has the data displayed. But good thing about Yale Finance is all this data is being stored in CSV file on the top. You can right click it and save wherever you want to save. And I'm going to save this on desktop. And I'm going to name of this file is bg underscore prices save. Now I want to download dividend. If you want to download dividend, the time period is the same time period. And the frequency usually dividend is quarterly. It doesn't have that option. You can leave as is. And now you have to choose dividend only. Once you make all that selection, again, you can click apply. Once you click apply, now you have the data displayed. And again, you have the data being stored as a CSV file on the top. You can right click on that file and save this as a VZ underscore DIV as a dividend. So now I downloaded the data. As you can see on our desktop, we have VG prices and dividend. What I want to do next is now open an Excel file and combine both of these files into an Excel so that we can do further analysis. Let's open the prices first. So double click on the data that has prices. Now I have here the date first, open price, high price, low price, close price, adjusted close price and the volume. I'm going to copy the entire Excel sheet right here. Copy and paste in my Excel's file. So paste right here. Let me name this Excel sheet as prices. And now what I want to do is I want to open this dividend data and copy entire Excel sheet and paste in the Excel file in a new Excel sheet and I'm going to paste it here and name this as a DIV data, dividend data. So before I finish this video, I want to make sure that all my data is ordered in a right way. So look at the date of the dividend. It seems that the dividend date is not here in a chronological order. You can change that and you can keep your cursor right below the 
date and you can go to sort and you can sort the date from oldest to newest and newest to oldest and we usually order data in chronological order oldest first newest last so that's why you can choose it now the date is organized in chronological order once it sorts the date it also sorts the dividend so now we have the dividend data and on the prices side we have the date and it seems that the date is already ordered in chronological order you don't have to make any adjustment that's fine now look at open high low close adjusted close and volume and we're not gonna use volume you can le uh, delete that volume and you can also delete this open high and low since we are not going to use it so I'm gonna leave only the close and adjusted close both of these are used for different kind of analysis so once you have all the data ready now you can analyze this Verizon stock just based on prices and which I will be doing in other videos thank you